Hi there, Kelsey Kehoe here. So I'm here today to talk a, about um, the BVMS cheer tryouts um, for next year. Um, so I will start by introducing myself. So again, my name is Kelsey Kehoe. Um, my email is right there if you ever need it. Um, I am the current BVMS cheer coach and this will be my second year coaching um, middle school cheer. Um, I also helped judge middle school cheer tryouts a couple years before this too. Um, and I am also a second grade teacher at BB East. Some cheer background and some dance background that I have. I was a cheerleader for four years in high school. Um, I danced for 13 years and I was also on a competition dance team for five years uh, for part of my middle school and high school. Um, so please feel free to contact me at any time with any cheer related questions that might come up. So the school Schoology group, if you are not part of it, already, please try to um, get onto that school AG group. It will have a lot of information regarding rules and expectations for cheerleading and also um, the results will be posted on our school AG page once tryouts have ended. Uh, to join our school AG group, you would go to groups, make sure you're not getting on courses. You would click my groups, click the join group on the right hand side, and then enter this access code that is highlighted in green there. And our group will be will be called BVMS Cheer 2021 to 2022. So some important tips that you might need, um, just all the information you will need will be in a folder that is called 2021 tryout information and material. In that folder, you will find videos of the tryout dance, cheer, chant, uh, jumps you will have to do. And then also um, there will be some videos on cheer motions, um, how to stretch properly, um, just in case you might need any of those things. And also, like I said before, the results will be posted on this group and it will be on our updates section of this group. So some important reminders. Um, when you're done watching this video, just make sure that you fill out the rest of the, the information on this form. And please make sure that you watch the entire video. There's a lot of important information regarding cheer. Um, so the form that you will fill out includes some contact information for both parent and guardian um, and the student. Um, cheerleaders will also choose their team preference, whether you would like to try out for cheer basketball, football, or both seasons. And then there will also be an acknowledgement at the end of the form um, to say that you have watched this whole video. So some team options, um, a little more information about that. Um, you can choose to try out for football season. You can choose to try out for basketball season or both seasons. Um, just some things to keep in mind that cross country and volleyball would conflict with football cheer because those also take place in the fall. And girls basketball and wrestling would conflict with basketball cheer, um, which um, because they both take place in the winter as well. Um, so for football season, we will take eight to 10 spots for each grade level. So eight to 10 spots for seventh grade, and then also eight to 10 spots for eighth grade. And basketball season will be six to eight spots for each grade level. So six to eight for seventh grade and six to eight for eighth grade. Um, and then you can also choose both seasons. Uh, so just keep in mind that cheerleaders are not guaranteed to make the season of their choice or both seasons, if that's what they chose. Um, this information um, of your team selection will help judges form the teams based on student interest and then also those students with the highest scores from tryouts. So some more information about actual cheer clinics and tryouts. Um, for practice clinics, uh, they will take place on April 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd from 5 to 7 p.m. in the middle school gymnasium. Uh, you will learn a lot of material during those four days um, in order to try out because you'll be learning all of the dance, the chant, the cheer, and then the jumps you will have to do to try out for cheer. Um, and then you'll also learn how to stretch properly, um, be able to go over cheer motion so you have those down good before tryouts. I mean, you will also be able to ask questions and get feedback um, during that time. So it's really important that if you can, um, you try to be there all four of those days. Uh, cheer tryouts. These will take place on April 23rd. The first group will start at 4.15. Um, each group will have about three to four students in them, and each student will have a designated number and a designated start time. 
So that day, students will just stay after school and report to the gymnasium. Mrs. Elwood will be there um, and be able to meet you and make sure that you have time to get ready before tryouts and also have time to go over any tryout material that you need to go over just last minute. Um, each group should take about 10 to 15 minutes to try out just to give you a sense of how long they will take. Uh, physicals are also a really important thing to make sure that you have. Um, each student must have a physical in order to participate in clinics and tryouts. Uh, so a copy of the physical form can be found on our Schoology group page in that tryout material and information folder. Um, most doctor's offices should have them, um, but it's there for you if you need it. So please bring that with you the first day of tour clinics, or you will not be able to participate until one has been turned in. So just some COVID guidelines. So COVID is very much still around, unfortunately. So we still need to follow the guidelines and procedures set by uh, Buckeye Valley School Districts um, during the practice clinics and tryouts. Um, so you can read through those. The big things are just making sure that parents and guardians are staying in their vehicles and not entering the buildings. Uh, myself and anyone else that is helping out with clinics and tryouts will be wearing masks and also um, students will have to wear masks at all time as well. Um, no beverages can be shared, so make sure that if you would like a water bottle that you bring your own and you are not allowed to, um, to share, with the, share those with anyone. And um, also making sure that we're not um, high-fiving anyone, hugging anyone, and we are making sure that we're keeping that six feet distance apart at all times. And also making sure that we are not congregating inside the building or after. So um, before clinics, after clinics, before tryouts, and after tryouts. Um, so a little more information about the material for tryouts. Um, there's a lot that you will learn during clinics, um, and it can be overwhelming but um, there will be videos available if you ever need to go back and reference those on Schoology. Um, so just what to expect is the chant, the tryout chant, the cheer, the dance, and the jumps. Um, you will have to do a toe touch and a hurdler. The hurdler can be your right or left, whichever you, you think is your best one. Um, students will also need to fill out a cheer interest survey. Um, this is prior to the week of clinics, but I will actually hand those out on Monday and they will be due the following day on Tuesday. Um, so this survey just helps me to learn a little bit about you and understand why you're interested in becoming a cheerleader and why you think you would be a good fit um, for our cheer team. So teachers will also fill out a form to just give me a little bit of feedback on student academic, academics, um, student behavior, and if you are a good role model. Um, that is a huge thing in being a cheerleader because um, whether you're in your uniform or outside of it, um, you, um, you're, you'll, you're representing our cheer team, the middle school, um, and the BV community. So it's important that we are good role models. So some more information about what to wear for clinics and tryouts. Um, so the first thing is for clinics, um, just wearing shorts or leggings, whichever you're comfortable with, um, a t-shirt, sweatshirt, tank top, um, and tennis shoes. So, um, what to wear for tryouts is a little more specific. Um, so you will be required to wear solid black shorts or leggings. I'm um, just making sure you're not wearing spandex um, and a plain white t-shirt. So making sure there's no cheer or you're not wearing a cheer shirt or a BB shirt. Um, if you don't have a plain white shirt, you can turn it inside out. That's totally fine. Just so the, um, the writing isn't being shown. And then also wearing tennis shoes for um, tryouts as well. Um, as far as jewelry, the only jewelry that you should be wearing is our stud earrings. Um, your hair should be pulled back and out of your face so the judges are able to see you. Um, and please be sure not to wear any BV gear or cheer bows if you have cheered previously. So you can see some pictures here. Um, those first two pairs of shoes are shoes not to wear because they have a very flat bottom um, and they don't have a lot of ankle support. So those aren't great shoes to wear for um, cheer. Um, the shoes right there are great shoes to wear because they have a nice arch that will help support your foot and then also some ankle support. And then lastly, right here is a great example of just that plain white t-shirt and the black shorts. Um, and then a good example of your hair being pulled back. So obviously the braid does not have to be there, but just making sure it's out of your face. Um, so in some information about the judges um, and some things that you will be judged on. Um, cheerleaders will be judged on their spirit, so making sure you have great spirit while you are trying out. 
You'll be judged on jumps, the chant that you learn during clinics, the cheer, the dance. Um, so there's a, those are all things you will learn the week of clinics and you'll have to do on tryouts. Um, so just making sure that you are um, no tumbling is allowed as well during tryouts. Um, so the judges that will be that we will have this year are Nicole Elwood. Um, she was the previous BVMS cheer coach before before I took over. Um, Tara Shoemate, she is the current Buckeye Valley High School varsity cheer coach. Madeline Hopkins, she is the current um, high school freshman cheer coach. And then Kylie Shoemate, um, she helped a lot last year with the um, Buckeye Valley middle school cheer team during the football season. So she definitely, and she was also a high school cheerleader. So the results, um, the results will be posted Friday, April 23rd by 10 p.m. Um, they will be posted on the BVMS Cheer Schoology group page in the update section. Uh, they will also be posted on the Buckeye Valley um, Middle School front doors as well. Um, so um, each student will be assigned a number and those numbers will be posted in place of names. Uh, the students will receive their assigned number the week of clinics um, by myself um, before um, tryouts are. So you will know your number before you actually try out. Uh, results will be posted by grade and number and season. So you'll see grade seven, football season, and then all the numbers, uh, seventh grade basketball season, and all the numbers, and then eighth grade football, all the numbers, and then eighth grade basketball, and all the numbers will be listed for those that made that season. So after tryouts, um, I ask that you please wait until Monday, April 26th to contact any coaches regarding tryout information or tryout results, I'm sorry, um, and any questions you may have. Uh, so I will only respond to questions or concerns via email or Schoology. So if you do have any questions, please make sure you are using those to get a hold of me. Um, I will not respond to text messages or phone calls. Um, this is definitely never an easy day for myself either. Um, just knowing that some cheerleaders might not make it. Um, so please just keep this in mind. Um, I am more than happy to give um, any feedback on areas of strength and areas for improvement um, based on the judges comments and score sheets. Um, I will not provide overall scores or access to those sco to those score sheets though. Um, so just know that there are um, some girls that maybe didn't make it their seventh grade year and then um, worked really hard the, that year leading up to their eighth grade year and then tried out again when they were in eighth grade and made it. Um, so it was really nice to see the progress from those girls. And there are some girls that don't make it during their eighth grade year, but then try out in the high school and they make it too. So, um, so just keep that in mind, even though you might not, if you do not make it this season, that does not mean that um, you never will. So. Uh, so just some information about cheer commitments. Um, summer practices are not mandatory, but they are definitely um, encouraged for both football and basketball cheerleaders. Uh, we learn a lot of chants that we will do during both of those seasons at those practices. So it's really important that you try to be there as much as possible. I know there's a lot of different summer sports, so I totally understand not being able to make it to all of them, but just trying to make it to as many as you can. Um, normally, they are held twice a week and they will be around two to two and a half hours long. Um, another commitment that cheerleaders do have is a mandatory um, Buckeye Valley Middle School cheer camp. Um, the date and location is still to be determined, but it will either take place at the middle school or the high school. The cost is $100 and this is a fundraiser that the um, Buckeye Valley High School puts on for us. and. Um, they teach us the dance that we do um, for for the upcoming seasons and then some chants um, and hello cheers that um, that they learn from their own camp. So it's a great um, it's a great week of camp and um, we learn a lot and it's really fun. So all cheerleaders would need to attend that. So football and basketball. Um, so some more information about cheer com commitments um, for each season. So I'll start with football season. Mandatory practices typically start in late June, I'm sorry, late July and early August. Um, so only girls cheering football season will be will attend practices at that time. We would typically have one or two mandatory practices before school begins. And then once school starts, we would practice two times a week until the football season begins. Then we would only practice once a week because we would have games. 
So practices will be after school starting at four o'clock and um, they usually last about two to two and a half hours, just like the summer practices. Games were normally on Thursdays and some Saturdays um, before COVID last year. Um, our, the days that we had games were a little more inconsistent last year just with the rescheduling of games and everything. But I know in previous years they were on Thursdays and some Saturdays just to give you some idea. Um, for the game, seventh grade normally began at five and then the eighth grade would follow right after that. And those usually started about 6.15. Um, for basketball season, mandatory practices started in late October and early November. Practices will also be twice a week before the season begins and then move to once a week um, when games actually start. And we also do practice before games for both football and basketball season. Usually we have about eight home games and we also cheer at one or two girls basketball games. Um, we do not travel to away games with the exception of tournament games, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, practices will take place after school starting at four, just like football season. Um, games normally run Mondays, Wednesdays, and some Saturday games. Um, again, that was before COVID, and our um, games were a little more consistent on when they took place, but um, that, that is when they normally took place during a normal season. Um, so for games, seventh grade would start at um, five o'clock normally and eighth grade follows right after that at 6.15. Um, so expected costs. So this is definitely something to consider before you decide whether you would like to try out for cheer or not. Um, there are some things that cheerleaders are um, required to purchase and then there are some optional things that if you would like to purchase them, you are more than welcome to, but do not have to. Um, so the exact prices might change just a little bit, but this is just um, the best um, estimate that I can give you based on what things cost from last year. Um, so warm-ups, they were $64 last year. So those are something that um, you would need to purchase if you do not already have them. So if you see this little asterisk is next, next to some of these things, um, for those things, if you have them from previous cheer seasons, you would not have to repurchase those if yours still fit and were in good condition. So warm-ups fall under that too. Um, so we do buy two BV cheer shirts. So one at the beginning of football season, then one at the beginning of basketball season, um, brown briefs to wear underneath our skirts, um, per, a personalized bow, cheer shoes. Even if you did cheer previously, we do buy our shoes. Um, we do buy new shoes every year just because they go through a lot of wear and tear with how much we wear them and practice in them. So we do buy new ones every season. Um, camp that I explained before um, during the summer is $100. The pay to participate fee is $100 each season. So if you cheered for football and basketball season, that would be a total of $200 because that would be 100 for football, then 100 for basketball. Um, and then the last thing is rain, a rain jacket and that is for cheerleaders that cheer during football season only. So you can see the minimum total cost um, is around $400. And then underneath that, are just some optional things that you can buy. Um, again, you absolutely do not have to buy them, but they will be available for you um, if you would like to. Um, so just some important reminders. Um, if, a if a cheerleader does decide to quit, um, written communication needs to be received from the parent or guardian. If the coach does not hear from the parent, a maximum of three, a maximum of three attempts will be made to contact the parent, and parent or guardian. Um, attempts will be made either by phone or email to clarify if the parent or guardian fails to contact the coach. After the maximum attempts have been made, the cheerleader will be dismissed from the cheer squad. Um, another thing to keep in mind is anything that, any items that were ordered previously um, before quitting would need to be paid for in full. Um, so you would still be responsible for paying um, for those items um, if you per, if you um, ordered them previously. Um, this is because many of the items are custom made and they are not able to be returned. Um, communication, so this is very, very big for me. Um, it is very important to me. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, I am definitely here to hear you out and help you with anything that I can. Um, so anytime you have any questions or concerns, just please let me know as soon as possible. Um, whether it, um, some girls may decide that after tryouts um, and they've made the squad, maybe they've changed their mind or maybe they only want to cheer 
one season instead of two. Um, I totally understand. I just ask that you please communicate that with me as soon as you can. Um, I will not be upset. I appreciate the honesty that you're giving me. I just want to give as many students the opportunity to be a part of the cheer team as possible. So, um, so that is the end. So um, any questions that you might have um, while I was explaining everything that has to do with cheer and clinics and tryouts, um, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me again. My email address is right there. Um, and I am also holding um, Google Meet office hours um, on Monday, April 12th from 4.30 to 5.30 and Wednesday, from April 14th from 5 to 6. So those are two times that if you have any questions or concerns um, that have to do with the video or that come up um, before clinics and tryouts begin, um, those are two times that you can go ahead and get on that Google Meet and ask me, and hopefully I can clarify some things for you. So those links to these meetings will be found on the BVMS Cheer Schoology group um, in that same folder um, that the rest of the tryout material and information will be in. So there will be a link for Monday, April 12th, and then a separate link for Wednesday, April 14th. So please feel free to um, reach out to me before that or come to one of those Google Meets. Um, thank you for watching all of this. Um, just make sure you fill out the rest of the information on that form. And I look forward to a great and successful um, week of cheer clinics and tryouts. Thank you.